didn't come up, so that seems like an awfully long time to have something like that bother her, but she's had a little bit of a diaper rash, and uh, so I changed her each time when she cried, and so that might have been it, too, that might have been bothering her, but though it, it's almost gone, I had it, I have it almost cleared up now, and it seems like she would have cried when it was really bad, but it didn't seem to bother her at all, but... Playpen several times during the day, and she 
always seems to try to catch a glimpse of what it really is. It goes by too fast. But sometimes when I'm holding her, Pippa will come up and, and sit there and look at us. And she likes to smile at Pippa, and Pippa just kind of stares back at her, scowls. And that does a little bit of growling, but uh, I had her on in the infant seat on the floor the other day, and Pippa came up and was sniffing at her, and then she just laid down right beside her. So I don't know. I don't really think that. I suppose she's a little bit jealous, but I don't think that she would ever, uh, I think she'd be too afraid to do anything to her, but um, I don't know, maybe when uh, Jennifer gets a little bit older, Peppa will be a good buddy, I don't know. Probably all she'll do is just torment poor Peppa and that. But uh, we uh, had a couple of fellas up the other night that are working up here. And they both play bridge, and so we had a foursome and got to play bridge one of the first times in quite a while. And our other bridge playing friends, Julie and Alex from headquarters, are going to be moving to our casino here pretty quick. So I guess we'll, unless these two fellas stick around in that, uh, I think we'll be out some bridge partners because it doesn't seem like very many people up here have ever learned how to play. And it's so hard to teach someone how to play unless you really get together quite often in that, and we've tried to teach a couple of couples, but they, uh, just next time we try it, they've usually forgotten everything we showed them before, so it gets a little bit discouraging in that. I remember one time on one of the tapes that you mentioned something about uh, the house that you were renting was being, uh, might be put up for sale, or was, was up for sale, and I did, every once in a while I think about that, and I wonder if you are thinking of if you think that you will have to find another place, or if, and when you do, if you'll be going to buy one, I really I would sure like to be in a different house. I'm not too happy with this one. It's, the storage is very uh, inadequate, and uh, it just seems to well, it just takes too much money in that to to pay for it. You pay for the payment on the down payment, and then the utilities. Um, seem to be quite high each month, and it seems like it's taking about 250 or 200, I can't remember what Vic figured out a month to live in it, and I said, when I think about it, it just about makes me sick. But it's 250, you know, I don't think it's any more than that, I'm not sure, but it's, for what we've got, it isn't worth it, and it's just, it can't do anything else, and, and I know Vic would love to have a new car, but if we put those payments on top of what we're making on this house, and, and wouldn't be able to, well, we just couldn't do it, but uh, I'll be glad when we, I really will be glad when we get transferred that just to get rid of this house. It's nice for the houses that are up here, in fact, I think it, actually it's probably one of the more, more comfortable ones and, and nicer ones and that, and we have done some work on it and that, and so it looks real nice, but... Uh, we could have a lot more for our money, or we could have get as much for our, for a lot less money in some other place. I'm sure. But, um, I really will be glad when we get out here, though. I just like today. I like just to get out of the house, but there's no place to go. It's um, I mean, like you can't walk to the grocery store or, or the drugstore or anything like that. And, I'm just stuck up here on the hill unless I take Vic down in the morning, and uh, and it's hardly worth it really to to take him down and and that because there's downtown there's not that much anyway. It only takes a minute to to see everything down there practically. But and then I'm getting it's kind of nice to be able to go to a movie once in a while. And I'm up here, I said, well, the, when we were in Boise, we did go to a show, but we haven't been to any and over a year up here, and it's just a lot different, and I would like a little more variety of things to do in that. It's uh, kind of boring, to tell the truth. <laughs> Have you read any good books lately? I just finished Call of the Wild for about the third time. It was in the Reader's Digest. Um, we got to subscribe to the Best Love Books for Children, and it was in that, and we enjoyed reading it. And then we got a uh, book by Jaime Ganalt, a child psychologist. If you ever get a chance to read it, do because it's 
really a lot of fun. But you have to read it with a Jewish accent if, to make it effective. And that, that's, we see him on a Today Show on television. And in fact, he was just on this morning. And it's more fun to listen to his theories on how to handle children. You get I'd probably get a big kick out of it too. But he's got some pretty good ideas. I don't know if I'll be able to follow him or not. But 